Hello, little Cracker Jacks. It's me, Ms. Doyle, and this little troublemaker, Olgi Du Soleil. And we're coming to share a story with you. Cinderella by Francis Minters. Pictures by Brian Krauss. Let's enjoy. Drama. 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 Once upon a time, or so they tell me, there lived a girl named Cinderella. was good and she was pretty. She lived with her folks in New York City. With mom and dad and Sue and Nellie, the sisters were mean to Cinderella. When school let out, they watched TV. They asked Cinderella to serve iced tea or else they play a video game. But they never asked Ellie to do the same. Sometimes when Ellie was washing the floor, it slide across it and out the door. And what do you think would happen then? Why, Ellie would have to wash it again. But Ellie cleaned up because she liked to be neat from the hair on her head to the shoes on her feet. She worked so hard, it was a pity. She had no fun in New York City. But then one day, Elle got a note. So did her sisters. Somebody wrote, da, da, da. Sue, Elle, Nelly, 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 Nelly. We've picked your name, 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 name. You've won free tickets, 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 tickets to a basketball game. to wear. I'll shop, said Ellie, but you have no money. Ellie's mother agreed. They're so right, honey. There's no money for three, only money for two. Let your sisters go, Ellie. They're older than you. So Ellie's big sisters went right out shopping and Ellie stayed home and did all the mopping. The night of the game, as Elle watched them go, an old lady came by and said, Ellie, hello. Excuse me, said Elle, but I know the dangers. I'm never allowed to speak to strangers. Oh, oh, oh I'm your godmother, Ellie. Don't you recognize me? The last time I saw you, you were just two or three. I'm here because we have things to do. Keep your eyes on my cane. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> she waved her cane once. Elle squealed like a flute. Her clothes turned into a basketball suit. And here's something else to go with your clothes. Poof, poof. Glass sneakers, said Godma. You'll need two of those. <laughs> now wait, Godmother. Hold on a minute. I'm just watching the game. I don't want to play in it. Whoops, said the lady. Excuse my mistake. Let's see what else my cane can make. And poof. Ellie wore a satiny shirt with a beautiful flowery red mini skirt. Ellie was happy because she looked so fine. Now go to the game and have a good time. 
Thanks, dear Godma. I'm glad that you came, but how am I going to get to the game? <gasps> Whoops! Oh, that's an easy one, dear. Why, I've got a plan. I'll just send you off in this old garbage can. <laughs> She waved her cane and said, Kerplank! The garbage can turned into a bike. Elle El got right on, but she almost fell off, because riding a bike in glass sneakers is tough. Now, you'll be fine, Elle. I know that it's true. There's just one thing that I ask of you. Be home by ten, or else, my dear, your pretty new clothes will poof disappear. No problem, heard Ellie as sweet as a kitty, and then she rode off through New York City. The game was just starting when Elle got to her seat. Out ran Prince Charming! People rose to their feet. shower and change and blow dry my hair. Elle stayed till the clock blinked 9.58. In two more minutes, she would be late. She got up and ran. It's sad, but it's true. A lace came undone and she lost her glass shoe. But she couldn't stop now, so she hurried on. All she saw was a trash can. Her new bike was gone. Ellie waved at the cane, at the can, and said, Plank! But the garbage can wouldn't change back into a bike. Meanwhile, Prince Charming, looking pretty cool, was busy signing photos for his fans at the school. When he was finished, he looked all about. Ellie wasn't inside, so Prince went out. Outside, he saw no one, just some girl who ran off down the street with the big garbage can. But on the steps, he spied one sparkly shoe. This sneaker, said Charming, gives me a clue. Next morning, Cinderella tried giving Prince a call, but his phone number wasn't listed in the phone book at all. At the same time, Charming sat at a table. He drew that glass sneaker as well as he was able. Beneath it, he wrote for all to see, If you lost this sneaker, please telephone me. Then he wrote his name and his phone number too, and he went to the copy shop to print up a few. Prince taped his copies once they were complete to every single phone, phone pole on that busy, busy street. Many women phoned him with feet too big or too small. Prince Charming wasn't happy. 
Won't the right one ever call? Hey gang, watch out. Here's Sue and here's Nellie with a poster to show to Cinderella. Let's go, Prince, said Sue and Nellie. That's not your shoe, said Cinderella. Oh no, we'll try it since. How else are we ever gonna meet a real live prince? They phoned Prince Charming, and just as they planned, he dropped in to visit with sneaker in hand. Prince was surprised by Nellie and Sue. He said, I don't remember either of you. Sue tried the shoe and fell down flat. Poor Sue, laughed Nell. Your foot's too flat. Then Nellie tried and went into a tizzy. The shoe was so tight. It made her feel dizzy. Then Ellie came in from where she'd been looking. Her sisters yelled, Ellie, you better your cooking. Cinderella sat down and she put on the shoe. Then she took out the other and put on that one too. <gasps> Excuse me, called someone. May I come in? <gasps> God, Ma. Do where have you been? I've been busy, said Godma, but I know my duty to see Cinderella and her friend Prince Cutie. Um <clears throat> Prince Charming? He corrected. Well, how do you do? It's time you saw Ellie in the clothes that you knew. Ellie's clothes became the ones she had worn to the basketball games. Yikes! screamed the sisters. Shush! Godmother told them, you deserve a good scolding. And she started to scold them. You're forgiven, said Ellie. I'm sure that you've seen that it's awfully wrong to be terribly mean. You're right, Cinderella, and we promise, we know it. If we feel mean again, we just won't show it. Prince said to Ellie, hey, let's go spread the news. Wait, Prince, said Ellie, till I change my shoes. They walked down the street holding hands pretty snappy, and everyone lived forever happy. Girls and boys, thanks for joining us for another dramatic read aloud. We're so happy you joined us, and we'll see you next time. Drama. 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 Drama.